Welcome X Factory friends and family. We're at the Motorama 2018 Awesome Track, which is the 10 scale track. I'm old man Billy. It's just me and Chaz this weekend. Paul had prior plans. So here we are for our track walk. Um, as you notice, we're inside. It's February. Motorama is a very strange surface. So as we come across start finish line, starting our lap, you notice that the curbing is very high. It's off camber. A lot of the guys are using this to help rotate their cars. It's kind of tricky. You get too far out offline, we have lots of dust on the track. You can really see there's a darker groove where everybody's been running. Outside of that, dust, which makes the track slick. You rotate hard, aim for the next apex. Try to get the car there as quick and as and as easy and as smoothly as possible. Right down against the curbing. Use that curbing to help rotate the car. Motorama is notorious for a very different surface. It's not high bite clay. It's not soft dirt. It's actually spongy. There's moisture underneath this dirt. If a marshal runs out, puts a lot of weight in one spot, we get a divot. And you can see these divots in the corners. These are Marshall's footsteps. These are not carb hits. The lift on these jumps to this little table sock se section are perfect for 10 scale. Now once we make our apex perfect, if we can, staying on the line, we need to get that car lined up. Most of the guys are running on this side of the track, very tight to the pipe. It's nice and clean, very little dust. Out here, there is more dust. If you spin the tires, you lose the forward bite. You'll short jump this. It's very critical to maintain a speed and pace through this section. You lose a little bit, you're gonna get beat going through the section. Mod guys are single doubling out, or single into the backside, and then just rolling basically the next tabletop. You want to get the car up and down as fast as possible. Maintain all that speed you can. Now as we go on through, you want to cross the car over and get back into the apex of this slight right-hander to line up for this double. It's critical to keep that car speed up and that momentum going. Because with a mod car, you can over jump this easy. Stock cars needed speed to clear it and safely get to the apex to turn the car in. So as you come across this double tabletop, like I said, it's critical to get the car in tight. The front of that, that jump is almost black. That's from the rubber and the scuffs from the chassis smacking that. Once you clear that double, the track gets a little tr tricky. It's light, there's lots of dust laying up in that. I'll show you when we get on the, up this way. As you rotate the car, you try to hit this curb as gently as you can. You want to be right there because it's a straight line. You touch it, it'll throw the car out. If you're outside of it, you're out into this dust that we've been talking about all day long. It's hard to see it, but it's literally there. It picks up on the tires, it stays there for 30 seconds. Slows you down because you can't get back to the power. It literally plugs the short pins of your tires. So you want to stay off that as much as possible. Another curb. Every corner on this track this year has an inside curb. But it's also slightly off camber at that. The track's fairly flat, but it really starts off camber right here. You don't realize it. I talked about this track being soft. Literally, I can put my knuckle and indent the track. A shock tower, a wheel nut, a wing will bite into this. My feet are literally putting little indentations on this track. So as a marshal crosses the track and you come through your next run, you're now running through his footprint. Upset your car a little bit. Most guys aren't used to that. It catches them off guard. Now we come to the triple. Mod guys are real critical. They start here and jump crossways. Not something you really want to do. Don't have much of a choice here. 
If you jump in line, you're jumping back into the tubes, messing up your approach into the last corner going on the straightaway. So they're jumping crossways, very light throttle. You can over jump it real easy, put you back out into the fluff, you're going backwards. Alrighty, as you land this triple, it gets a little odd. There are some very good sized divots right here, so it rattles the car. I'm st standing at the outside of the line. If you turn in later than here, you're out into the dust. This is all loose dust out here. Literally, you can see where every tire has gone through here and collected it. So, you drive the car in, trying to stay on the tube, the car will push out. So you double apex it. You drive it in, get it tight, let it push out. If you try to maintain the line, it'll suck the car right back into the tube. Not exactly 100% sure what's going on, but there's crowns going out. I think it hooks the car, loads the car up, drives the car back in when you least expect it. You need to be a foot to 18 inches off this tube getting on the power. You out, you're, if you're out here, it's dust. You're in here, it's the same thing, dust. You'll watch guys get on the power. We've seen everybody do it. Get a little sideways trying to get back on the power. You get it right, you lock the slipper down about midway, front tires come up, car settles, you set it down going into the sweeper, which is another tricky part of this track. All right, we've got onto the straightaway. We've got a good run coming down. What you're not really seeing from floor level is there's dust spots. So there's crowns down the straightaway. So the car is loading and unloading. Right where I'm standing, there's a series of them within 10 foot of each other, very tightly placed together. It's not something that was put into the track on purpose. It happens. So now is your car loaded up or unloaded going into the sweeper? That's where you get yourself in trouble. If the car is unloaded and you sail it in here, you shoot to the top. So you hesitate, let the car settle down, start your turn in. The track is perfectly clean, not a speck of dirt, three foot off the tube right here. But that's not where everybody wants to turn in. It's not the proper apex turn. So we go to the bottom car washes up just a little bit you can literally see how the line goes right up to the Motorama signage and comes right back in it's double apexed it's a big D turn you can't just turn the car in and let the car go around the corner you have to straighten the car up and then turn the car back in where I'm standing right now literally is the softest part of the track that I've been on I can feel the, the track fall from underneath my feet so you're really loading a lot of pressure up in this. And as you start to notice, we're seeing them dirt. All right, we've got onto the straightaway. We've got a good run coming down. What you're not really seeing from floor level is there's dust spots. So there's crowns down the straightaway. So the car is loading and unloading. Right where I'm standing, there's a series of them within 10 foot of each other, very tightly place together it's not something that was put into the track on purpose it happens so now is your car loaded up or unloaded going into the sweeper that's where you get yourself in trouble alrighty on the on the second apex of the sweeper you can really see the dust building up so you have to stay down towards the bottom by hitting the apex here the track actually falls away from you so it's a straight line, but as a driver, we want to stay down towards the tube because we know we have a tight apex coming up. If you can cross this start finish line in the low 16s, even the sub 15s, 15.5, 15.6, you've ran the perfect lap. 